Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, December 17th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, December 17, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And if you want access to our uh, signal service, our full technical analysis, or our live trades, you're welcome to head over to our Patreon channel. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound US dollar. So there was a lot of economic news uh, today and also news on the US interest rate. And, and at this point, US interest rates will be um, as low as they are at this current point all the way to 2023. So three more years or two more years, I would say, will have nearly zero interest rate. Well, that is going to have implications for, for our economy, especially also these you know, the currencies and so on, and also the US dollar. Um, we'll see how it works out, but but of course, there's going to be a lot of spending you could expect. For example, gold will rally significantly in the coming years. Um, so we'll start by, first of all, looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. So as you can see, we rallied all the way up towards 1355, and then we gave most of those gains back, and now we created this inverted hammer. Um, this could be a sign that we are about to break down. However, these technical indicators are still fairly bullish. The stochastic is bullish, the MACD is crossing the signal line now, and the CCI is really bullish. But if you look at the, at the Bollinger Band, this is nothing new we tried this uh, only a few uh, three weeks ago where we broke the top of the bollinger band and then broke down so we could see something similar to this if uh, we have the same pattern here that means that we're going all the way down towards the lower part of the bollinger band and that is roughly right underneath the 20 exponential moving average at 1327 and um, if we break these highs then we are going significantly higher but we technically have to see what happens. This is a fairly negative candlestick, and this pullback here is a sign that uh, there are a lot of sellers that want to push their just price basically lower down. But if we fall all the way down towards the 20 exponential, that's roughly 1.23 percent and 166 pips down. So I would not be a seller at this point. We're still in an uptrend, basically. The closer you get to the, 20, uh, the 50 moving average or the 100 moving average, the better it is to buy into this market. So let's look at the US and yen. So we broke down quite significantly yesterday, went a little bit further, and then we rallied and gave back some of those gains. At the moment, we're trading at 103.647. And at this point, we are most likely just go continue lower. We are heading towards this lower trend line here. Any rally towards the 50 moving average is basically a selling opportunity. You can see right here, here, and here, and also here, all the way back to March. Every single time we get close to the 50, 50 moving average or the 100 moving average, it is basically a selling opportunity. And that is how this market basically has behaved the last, well, nine months, give or take. So the technical indicators for this uh, currency pair are looking dreadful. All the indicators are very, very bearish at this point. So we are most likely going to go lower. Any rally towards the 50 is basically a selling opportunity. So Euro, US dollar, we rallied and then gave all of those gains back. Right now, we're trading basically in the red. It is highly likely that we'll go third down from here. As you can see, we are overbought in the RSI. The technical indicators have slowly been changing to uh, the bearish, uh, uh, become more bearish, I would say. So the MACD, for example, is crossing the signal line now. We're getting a red, candles, red um, um, histogram here. And the CCI is also about to turn around. 
Sarcastic has not turned around, but that can happen very quickly. So when we got close to the top of this Bollinger Band here, we got rejected. And this may uh, indicate that we will go test out the 20 exponential at 1208 and probably the 40 exponential at 11.99 or at 12.00. So you just have to see what basically happens here. It could also mean that we will stay, uh, continue trading sideways. When we hit the 20 exponential, we'll take off to much higher um, levels. So Aussie US dollar, we have basically retested these previous highs again. At this point, I expected this market to fall. We are at 81.44 in the RSI. We are significantly overbought in this currency pair. And that, that basically means that we will see a candlestick similar to this one uh, anytime now. Tomorrow, Friday, Monday, this just can't hold on, uh, keep on, uh, hold on forever. And also we have tested this uh, price level now several times and we just can't break it. And usually what happens after that is that we have a minor pullback or a major pullback. I would expect a pullback towards the um, 20 exponential. That is roughly 1.2%. Uh, that is most likely what is going to happen in the coming days. So pullbacks here are basically buying opportunities. Of course, it's possible to sell it, but it is very risky. Um, pullback towards the 20 turnaround here is definitely a buy. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. We have rallied up towards the 20 exponential moving average and then gave some of those gains back. But I think it's just a matter of time before we basically get to the 20 exponential moving average. So that is an increase of roughly 0.73%. And that will most likely occur tomorrow on Friday session. Um, if we get close to the 40 exponential moving average, which is all the way up here, then that is an absolute sell. You can just see what happened the last time we got there. We just got this hammered all the way down to this level here, which is roughly 3.5%. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.